Welcome to another Cooking with M&M. &M. I'm your host, Matt, and this is my wife, Emily. Tonight, we're gonna be making some banging nachos. They're gonna be the bomb. That's right, nacho average nachos. <laughs> I had to say it, sorry. That's perfect, nacho average nachos. Except, if you wanna make these nachos at home, they can be perfectly average because average nachos are still Bang it! These are honestly pretty average because we are not going to the grocery store just for this, so. These are gonna contain chips. Tortilla chips. Our All favorite right. kind are the kind with lime. So you, if you have that, you're in luck. Those are not my favorite kind. What kind's your favorite? I like the jalapeno ones. What kind of the recipe? All right. You're gonna need some cheese. We're probably gonna use primarily sharp cheddar, but we figured we might wanna throw in a little bit of Parmesan just to mix it up a bit, you know? We've never and tried it, so we'll let you know. Then we got some mild, if we're feeling this is a little too sharp. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so if you wanna make just regular nachos, no special things, all right, then you're just gonna need two ingredients, and that is these chips, and one of these cheeses, preferably, Cheese preferably the sharp cheddar probably, all right? But for this that we're making, we're gonna throw in some extra ingredients. So we're about to pop some bacon in the oven. Thank you. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is, nope, go with the peppers next. We're gonna slice up some peppers. Maybe saute them a little bit. Then we're gonna use ground beef. I thought it was ground turkey, but we're using ground beef, okay? Note, you can use some chicken if you want. You don't have to use ground beef. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna do with ground beef, but. We only got chicken, but every store was out of chicken, so here we are. And we're starving, okay? <laughs> thankful, thankful. Okay, and we're gonna use some form of beans. We have three beans here. We have uh, some refried beans. Some we, form of side dish. We have some organic kidney beans. I don't think we're gonna go with these ones. And we got some black beans. So you said a side dish, but. Like you, you know, you get like fried beans. <laughs> don't what are you talking about? We'll probably, I, I think I'm, I don't, right now I don't know what we're gonna do. One of these beans is going Oh, on. and corn, it's just not out here. I don't want corn on my That's nachos. Sorry. Then we're gonna cut up a couple of avocados. All Fresh avocados. Avocado. You see that avocado bag? Yeah. And we like sour cream around here. I know sour cream is one of those things that some people don't like, but we like it. <laughs> the island just. The island just moved. Oh my. Okay guys, let's ignore that for now. We're gonna get to the bottom of that later. All right, some beans. So anyways, I guess we should start out with uh, cooking the bacon. Yeah, cooking the bacon, cooking the sausage, and then prepping the peppers to saute. Whenever you're opening bacon or any package with a sharp knife, be careful, okay? Going over here to our knife drawer. Got the knife. I will demonstrate how to be very careful with the knife. That's not how you're very careful, get scissors. You're right. It was a test to show you, don't use knives like that. Here you go, Emily. You can find the knife we have. It's okay. Right there in the scissor holder. Well, at least, oh, goodness. Okay, this is, this is Oh. Oh goodness, Anna Joy, do you need some more food? Oh no. Obviously wash the peppers. Okay. Okay, hold on. It's chaos in this kitchen. This well, should all be cut, right? We're pretending like, like Gordon Ramsay's on our butts. And we need to serve 20 customers in the next 20 minutes. Snip, 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 snip. Not very sanitary, but it's alright. Ooh, yeah, but we're gonna have to clean everything off because the bacon juice, ooh. Okay, for ours, we're probably only gonna use, what'd you say, three pieces of bacon? Yep, three pieces of bacon. We're gonna make the bacon extra crispy, all right? Mm -hmm. Get the smaller pan out. Mmm. Get the smaller pan out, she says. 
So what about this one? Perfect. Why don't we try to set it down? Nice. Set down the bacon. Do I need to give them a shot of, of setting down the bacon? And enjoy it. You can't have this. It's raw bacon. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Goodness gracious. Don't eat bacon raw unless you're a bacon professional. Okay? Yeah. No, I saw a video once. A guy was eating bacon raw and he was like a bacon professional. Like he was paid to eat bacon? No, he wasn't paid. Like he, he knew. He, he knew No, he knew like a lot about bacon. Like he works with bacon. Just trust me, I promise. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and enjoy, and enjoy. You gotta, you gotta stop the waterworks, girl. I can make a video. All right, we're gonna pop these bad boys in here for probably 14 minutes. No, probably a little longer because we want it to be crispy, but. <laughs> All right, don't tell them that, okay? Okay. <laughs> You're gonna want to make the bacon. Excuse me. Do you want me to let you loose so that you can just run around? All right, come on. I'm not gonna touch you with my bacon hand that I get me washed off, okay? Yeah, my hand's just a pepper. Okay, just make sure don't touch your eyes. All right, she might get pepper burned. You gonna say hi to the camera? <clears throat> say hi! <laughs> okay. What you're gonna wanna do is pop that bacon in there, set a timer, 15, 17 minutes. You're gonna wanna bake it at about 375 probably, okay? We did it at 400 today, but it might burn. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I hope you didn't hear that. She too did, not Emily. It was the baby, thankfully. Okay. That was embarrassing. All right, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Mind you, oh, no, and enjoy, no. Oh. Here we have Emily doing a superb job at slicing those peps. Anna Joy, you've had enough food. Guys, she's had like like five or seven cubes of cheese. And there she is just wanting more cheese. All right. Goodness, this is the last piece of cheese you're gonna get, all right? All right, bite it, bite it, bite it. Bite, you gotta, man. <laughs> Here, there. Here you go. Goodness gracious. All right, back to the pepper cutting action. Okay, so she's cut up all the peppers. Got my hand in there a little bit, my bad. I don't know that we're gonna use all these peppers in the... No, I was gonna plan on putting some in a Ziploc bag and just eat them later. For, wow. for a healthy snack. Wow. All right, eating peppers for a healthy snack. Uh, not my thing, but sounds good to you. Are you kidding me? Guys, I promise we're not, we're not starving her. We've already fed her five chicken nuggets, multiple cheese cubes. Oh, this is going to be a bad poopy diaper, isn't it? Here you go. There you go. Like a little puppy. Cute little puppy. All right, Angela, you make everything better. Okay, come over here. Oops. All right, guys, we've placed the bacon in the oven. All right, we've set it to 400, even though, remember, set it to 375 if you have more time. We're just starving. All right, now Anna Joy is wanting mommy. You, you wanna eat a pepper? Oh my goodness. My little rabbit baby. Nope, not a rabbit baby. You don't like peppers? All right, are you done eating now? What? Anyways, back to my little, little, my little flick device. Let's check on this here, bacon. Oh man. If you don't like bacon, what are you doing? Bacon is so good, guys. Okay, 
All right, Anna Joy. Anna Joy, you are ruining everything. No, I don't think so. It was a joke. Oh, oh goodness. Well, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I chose to use a little bit of this oil. All right, is that the wrong oil? Well, you just don't apply any oil when you're doing the beef. I'm doing the beef. Okay. Oh no, did I mess something up? It's okay. That's like the bunny nuggets all over again. All right, we got our ground beef, we cut it in there. So we're gonna, we put this on, uh, on, or, oh, that's kind of nasty, isn't it? Ew, oh, oh no. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, we're gonna get flagged. This is, this is ground <laughs> content. Oh, we should close the pantry. Where's the pantry? Oh, oh no. They're gonna see that we're actual people and get dirty. <laughs> Are we gonna are we gonna mix spatulas? No 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 no. Oh okay, I thought that might be bad. Can I use this one? Yeah. Alright. Guys again, I'm not a professional, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna kinda Yeah, yeah. I'm getting anyone? I mean this is this is some good Gordon Ramsay cooking action. Can somebody get Gordon Ramsay my number? I've always wanted to meet that guy. I would love to eat something that he prepares. This might be so good. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. Here's what we're doing. Quick tip. What's your best cooking tip? Quick tip. Quick tip. Quick tip. Um, add cheese to most everything. All right, it's pretty good. Love me some cheese. Anything you wouldn't add cheese to? Mmm. Nope. Everything but it was cheese. At least that's my personal opinion. Okay. While that's starting to brown a little bit, here's what you're gonna want to do, little kiddos. All right. Well, first of all, your mom probably knows how to make these much better than me, or your pa. I don't know. I got out some uh, some seasonings, and I'm just gonna smell them. We just kind of went in the cab, and I'm gonna smell them and see what might smell good in here. So first, I'm gonna smell chili lime. All right, dropping this all over. Oh man, <laughs> Emily, that doesn't sound. Ugh. Oh no. You don't want chili? Yeah. Okay. Don't don't want the chili lime. All right, enjoy. Enjoy. I'm gonna need you to go sit over there, please. Ooh. All right, that's strong. This is garlic powder, but I, it smells like garlic. When you add garlic powder to basically uh, everything from one of them. Oh, using. is that too much? Yeah, well, it is what it is. Okay, all right. You mix that garlic powder up a little bit because it's now, right now, it's just on one little piece of meat. Oh, no. I always would recommend waiting until you brown the meat completely, but it's fine. Nope, nope, nope. I disagree. You see, that's why I love cooking because there's always multiple opinions. We totally disagree on this. I mean... I wait until right now. <laughs> All right, let's see some oregano. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the oregano. I don't even know if that's gonna be good at all, to be honest with you, but. Ew. I might have just made a mistake. Let's smell some basil, all right? Honestly, you're probably okay if you don't add anything. This, you know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of, like if you go into a place where they have a bunch of cats in a room, kind of like, uh, what's that What's that store that sells animal food and stuff? Uh, it's right by Best Buy. PetSmart, right? You know how they have that little room where there's all those cats? Oh, let me smell it. At least that's what I'm getting from the basil. Oh, no. That's not what you get? No, it smells like basil. Well, lucky for me, I love cats. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Gosh, I'm such a comedian. Ugh. All right, Brayden, can you please edit this to make this actually decent content? Cause I'm over here just trying my best, man. Yeah. Okay, we got our peppers. All right, guys, <laughs> don't even lie. Those look delicious. All right, the meat, it may not look like super brown, but that's okay because we're gonna put it in the oven at 350. All right, bam, beautiful. Bam. Oh gosh. Bam, cute. All right, guys, we got the three strips of bacon. Here's what I'm about to do. Uh, Emily, will you come take take the uh, the camera so they can see a master chef at work? Yes. Oh, oh wait, wait, we need to get this. All right, the we decided to go with the old black beans, all right? She's rinsing them out, straining out that nasty bean juice or whatever. All right, we're obviously not gonna use all these beans, all right? We don't know what we're doing, but we're not completely stupid, okay? All right, so Emily, um. I'm ready to shine, so if all you... All right. All right, if you would... All right, come on, you just try to... Okay, oh, goodness, my apron. All right, guys. 
here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stack each bacon on top of oh, each other, okay? And I'm just gonna kinda go Oh my gosh, I just blacked out there. Enjoy, are you okay? Oh goodness. Wow. Emily, you know what I just realized, Emily? No. We can't put this directly on the nachos because we already baked the bacon. It'll get too burnt if we put it back right, in Right, so we wait till it's done. Okay, all right. Okay, you can go ahead and cut this up as finely as you want. Just make sure you don't cut your hand. I bet you're, you're a little nervous. I might cut my hand because, you know, I'm Matt and sometimes I do silly things. <laughs> Cutting your hand is not silly. It's painful. Just like life. Sometimes life is painful, but that's okay. And enjoy how you liking that video. Oh. Okay, those are some. You ready? Okay. All right. Well, we got our our peppers. We got our ground beef again. Uh, we got our little bowl of beans. Made it all cute in a little glass bowl. Remember, the bacon's not going to be added. Emily went ahead and spread it out the chips. Um, just kind of throw the chips all over there on your baking sheet. I think, again, we have no idea what we're doing, but uh, I'm gonna start out with the mild. No, 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 no. We like sharp cheddar, right? Right? The mild smells kind of weird. All right, so we're gonna start out with a, a layer of mild. Sometimes I try out my words, Emily, you know that, sorry. Sharp cheddar. Oh, wow, I love cheese. All right, Emily, you tell me when because you know I'll keep going forever. Oh, goodness. You know what this reminds me of? I think you should do a couple layers, so just stop there and then oh, we'll oh, add oh, the... Okay, you know what's out? You just know how much I love cheese, right? I love cheese a lot, right? Right. But this reminded me of when I was in high school. I remember one time my dad said, hey son, you want an omelet? And I said, wow. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, of course I want an omelet. That's really nice. He said, do you want cheese on that? I said, Dad, I love cheese, of course. You want a little cheese or a lot of cheese? I said, I mean, I guess I want a lot of cheese. And my dad put more cheese than you should ever put in an omelet. I mean, I basically ate 2% egg, 98% cheese. I mean, it was crazy. I don't know what my dad was thinking. Okay, uh, Emily, I'm really at a loss. Right now, I don't know exactly what direction to go to. Add um, the ground beef. You think I should add the ground beef next? Yes. Okay. All right. Wifey knows best. Okay, let's go ahead and add some this ground beef. I got this little strainer so that the little nasty ground beef juices don't make the chips too wet. See, look, Gordon Ramsay might come over and say, "Oh, you pompous idiot! You know you're supposed to uh, you're supposed to have the juices." See, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. That's okay, Emily. Right? That's okay. You know why? Because we're getting food. Praise and, the Lord. And you know what? Looks pretty good already. You we're know? just, we're just thankful. Is that enough or is that too much or too little? I think that's good. Okay, I'll just have one more scoop, sorry. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Oops, I never turned that off. Oh no. All right, now, yeah, let's go ahead and go with some of these peppers here. I'm gonna set this over here in the sink. All right, and then I'm gonna grab our little Our little pepper, oh, peppers, peppers. Are you getting hungry, Emily? I'm so hungry. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it quicker. It's all right. Hey, okay. enjoy. Are you liking your little show? Uh, all right, we'll talk later. Love you. Oh, wait, you wanted to use some of these. Guys, this is taking long because, to be honest with you, just winging it. You've said that like 89 times. I know, I'm really insecure about it, okay? Why? We're making nachos. Oh my gosh, are you filming? <laughs> okay. All right, let's throw some uh, beanie boys on there. Before you put them in the oh, oven? Oh, crap. What do you mean before? Are you supposed to put them on after? I think it's okay either way. Uh, I think so. All right. 
Is that enough beanie boys? Okay, we got, we're got we really being heavy on the left side. <laughs> Is that okay? Oh no, <laughs> these are hard to spread. All right guys, maybe do it differently than I did it. It's okay. Um, all right, here, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of that, that palm, the Parmesan, just because I just want to give it a little whirl, see how it is, you know? Uh, all right. I believe we were mistaken when I said, did I say 14 minutes? Mm -hmm. At least for this nacho recipe, I don't think you need to have 14 minutes. Unless you have like three layers. Just because it's only been maybe four or five minutes. And look at those puppies. Mm. I mean, if they were actual puppies, of course I wouldn't eat this dish. I mean, <laughs> okay, sorry, I just shouldn't have said that. But you know what I mean when I say puppy. Um, anyways, look at that. Do you think we should just like take it out completely? Um, I just don't want food poisoning if we didn't cook that uh, meat long enough. I'd stick it back in for two minutes. Are you sure? All right, it looks pretty good. Executive decision, we're taking it out. Watch out, Enjoy. please don't get burned. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ugh. Go ahead and turn this off so our house doesn't, you know, catch on fire. Wow. Here, do a little. Goodness, I love you. Um... I think that you should do it. All right, yeah, that was a poor. Oh my hey gosh. guys, check out this. <laughs> Okay. All right. Have a better attitude, please. <laughs> okay. Wait, bacon right. first or um. Let's go with the first. bacon first. Hannah Joy, do you want to do the honors of the bacon? Mm -hmm. Guys, this is a bad look. Now she's just holding the phone, watching the video. It's okay, Hannah Joy. Yeah, this is not normal parenting. Well, that's educational. Honest. What you this watching there? Quarantine life's been tough on her. Don't want to advertise what you're watching. Oh, like you just went in with the bacon. Why would I not? Okay, okay. So she's just grabbing it, sprinkling it on. I think that bacon's gonna be one of the best parts. All right, now avocado, do you want it on? Ooh, it looks yucky, but whatever. No, it doesn't, it looks like avocado. Oh, sorry, bad filmer. No, just poor Brayden, when he's having to edit what I filmed, he's gonna be. Uh, you want to talk to Anna Joy? Anna Joy, okay, hey, I'm come here. Talking. All right, guys, you basically get the gist. We'll just we'll just set it up for the uh, final snack and review and do a little, little shot. All right, guys, final taste test. Got a nacho right here with some pepper. Some, uh, uh, here, you can, ah, ow. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, this is so good. Wow. Hey. Guys, again, um, you can make nachos with just some uh, some chips and some cheese, but I'm gonna be honest with you, these are a million times better than I expected. I mean, I think these peppers are really killing it. Mm -hmm. All right, on this bite, I got me some uh, some cheese, some avocado, some bean, some meat. There goes the avocado and a pepper. I'm gonna put that avocado back on there. This dang apron just won't stay on. Hey, you can wait your turn, girl. You already have your five chicken nuggets. I haven't even eaten anything. Mm. Mm. Hey, will you get close up with me, sir? Can I be honest with you guys? All right, that's good, babe. Stop, lift it up a little bit. I wasn't in the best mood. Anna Joy, please, just give me a second. I wasn't in the best mood. These are so good. Cut the video, Emily. It is so good. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> Guys, we cannot, we're not even playing. These are the best nachos we've ever had in our lives. And I've eaten at a lot of restaurants and gotten a lot of nachos, okay? I love nachos. And these are amazing. The bacon, 
the cheese, the avocado, the peppers, the beans, the sour cream, the tortilla chips, the cheese, the cheese. <sighs> if you guys have the ingredients that we listed, please try this out for yourself because I did not expect, I'm going to be honest, I did not expect it to be this good. This is one of the best things we've ever created. Anyways, we're gonna sign out here now. And it's been a little wild. Uh, if you if you endured with us through this video, thank you so much. Uh, leave a we're like. Repeating. Bye. Leave a like or a dislike if you were really annoyed. Keep Whatever. Kisses. But uh, yeah, throw them kisses. Oh gosh. <laughs> I got a nacho in my hand. I can't even. Okay, one final shot of that nacho. Guys, that's about to be one of the best nachos. I got paint all over my hands. I'm sorry. But I'm about to. I'm signing. Matt and M. Signing Bye. out. Bye bye.